Hi ho, Keegan the Vlog here. Welcome back to you. This, uh, this, this doesn't fit with my naming scheme. Ah, uh, something, 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 or something wrench time. I don't know. Uh, so this is a 1979 Ford Bronco. It does not belong to me. It belongs to uh, a, a new friend, actually. And um, he was telling me about this thing, and we've got a couple of objectives here. Uh, number one, we want to make this thing safe and usable, drivable. Uh, right now, it's got quite a, quite a few problems. The brakes are practically non-existent, and um, it runs like absolute... <laughs> Um, when it is cold. Now, I think that problem has something to do with fuel delivery because of this noise. We're gonna start with the usability work. So we're going to, uh, we're gonna see if we can get this thing to run reliably when it's cold, be easy to start up, be easy to, to uh, go driving around because that's step one. Uh, and then be able to stop it because that's actually step two. We have those things reversed. <laughs> Backup cam for a second here. <laughs> We're gonna make this thing stop as job one reliably. So uh, we can deal with things not going. What we can't do is deal with them not stopping. So priority number one is the, the braking system. <laughs> let's, let's get into it, a 1979 Ford Bronco. Okay, as you can see, somebody has done some extensive work under here, um, some retrofitting. That is a very new looking Edelbrock. Looks like it, it's an electric fuel pump, electric choke version of, a, of the carburetor to go on this thing. So it's supposed to be making this thing much more easy to deal with, kind of hands-off, automated, uh, no manual controls, so more like a modern car. But when those things go wrong, um, as I believe has gone here, it, it just makes it unmanageable, uh, especially when it's cold. I don't know what this guy is, but it seems to be kind of the brains of the whole operation. So I need to do a little bit of research on what this thing is, what its purpose in life is, um, how this is attached to the fuel pump, how that fuel delivery is made. Probably just gonna go ahead and, and uh, replace the, um, the filter out of good measure because uh, nine times out of ten, those things are have been neglected and are clogged anyway. And we got this guy down here. So this has got to be some sort of pressure regulator. Um, this is going to be some sort of pressure regulator on the fuel delivery system. So we'll take we'll take this filter off first, and uh, and we're going to see what kind of fuel pressure we're getting up here with just the key in the on position. if we're getting anything before the filter. Okay, we're not getting anything through to the filter. Oh wait, wait, there's a little bit. Well, I don't know if that is the problem, but that is certainly a problem. You're never gonna get a V8 Ford to run on that amount of gas. Okay, one last thing to check before I condemn this fuel pump is uh, what looks to be a pressure regulator. Uh, this thing here. Uh, so this is the input side. I'm gonna take this off, uh, turn the key on, and see what the flow looks like uh, out of just the raw supply there. So. Well. Uh, action shot. <laughs> That is why you diagnose things before you just go replacing. Uh, even though that pump is making a, a god-awful racket, it is actually moving fuel up to the top, up to the front of the engine. This little guy right here is our culprit. 
So either we've got a blockage in there or so something with this uh, pressure regulator is needs adjustment or replacement. Oh man, okay, so I can't even blow through this. Uh, so th this is a problem. Let's see if we can get some compressed air through it. It's just complete, there's yeah, no... it's just gunk. Wow. Gunk. It's like hard, hard and gunk. Oh, I just saw something come out yeah, of that I, side, yeah. I poured some in there. Oh, okay. okay. So, <laughs> so it won't come so out it, the other it side. It won't even come out. Literally nothing comes out the other side, I, wow. I, I take this whole thing apart yep. and take these all off. Yeah. Let's take the, let's take those barbs off and see what happens. Yeah, some kind of muck. Interesting. Did that go through? Yeah. Okay, so look at all that crap. Get a pick and see what comes out. Jesus Christ. What the heck is that? I think I think that's part of the fuel hose. Yeah. That's part of the fuel line. Yeah, that's that's not that's not gunk. No, that's part of the fuel line. All those fuel hoses are disintegrating. Yeah. The fuel hoses are disintegrating. That's why. That's what's in these barbs, and that is why it doesn't run. <laughs>
shoes actually look look how much yeah, see yeah shoes look great springs are new wow yep same thing on this side yeah yeah so the back brakes look good it looks like even the lines back here if you look at the line across the yeah this uh the lines look good back here and the line all the way to the front looks good uh the one thing that is is effed is this parking brake cable so we could we could fix that i wonder if they'll it's easy enough though like what a all that good cable doesn't look bad but the cable looks pretty bad for, uh, on the oh wait yeah no that's this side on this side yeah it's, I mean it's broken yeah. so oh so the cable and housing for this that's that's not too bad that's not too bad tab that goes in that back slot. I think this slot. goes on the other side. See how this guy is? Yeah. It's like through there. So do we feed it? So you feed it through and then something locks in. Well, there's a there's another end on the other side that's, I'm thinking it might have to go in from the center of that thing. So it's probably, like you said, it's got to go through the, the middle, which means we out. have to take it apart. Yeah, let's get some, let's get some juicy juice on it. Yeah. Sweet berry wine! <laughs> on there. Look at this guy. Look at that. Look at that. That's amazing. Oh, me gosh. one bolt zero. Actually, it's more like four to three, but still I won. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Uh. Parking brakes, yay! Yay! So we put a clear fuel filter on there. We will energize the fuel pump and watch that fill. Energizing the fuel pump. Ah, oh, look at that, it's spraying fuel in there. Oh yeah, but that's not good. It's spraying fuel there, yeah, we should turn that off. All right, field trip, we need uh, we need fuel resistant sealant for those hose barbs. Found it.
following Thursday. All right, people. Here we go. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, here's the real test. It's been a little over a week. No movement on this guy. Let's see if we have solved said cold starting issue. Wait for it. Let's see if we can see the uh, uh, the fuel filter fill up. Indeed, fuel filter is full. There we go. I think it's pretty good. All right, that's gonna do it for uh, the first round of repairs on this 1979 Ford Bronco. Uh, got the cold starting issue fixed, got the brakes all replaced, master cylinder, brake booster, all the hard lines, all the hoses, check. Um, also parking brake cable, so the parking brake works now too, yay! Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe, and see you next time on something, 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 wrench time.